in the Houston area are living with diabetes. Nearly 2 million more in our area are living with prediabetes. Staggering numbers. A medical technique used centuries ago is now the modern day answer to saving diabetics from leg amputations. Our health reporter Haley Hernandez shows us how it works. It does sound like a scene from a Halloween horror movie, but this technique to cure infections with maggots is now available in modern hospitals. Now I want to warn you while you are about to see a medical phenomenon, some images might be a little too much for those of you eating breakfast. I called them my bug buddies. Randy Herring says he went to the doctor for a spot on his foot and overnight this infection in my foot just kind of exploded. He was suddenly given a choice, amputate from below the knee or allow Dr. Nicholas Desai to tape these maggots to the wound. Our goal and our primary objective was to minimize and prevent any removal of his foot more than necessary. And ultimately leaving it in a very clean bed so that it could receive the graft and, and expedite healing. As a family business owner at Brazoria Lumber, Herring is on his feet all day and says this procedure did not just give him a quick fix and recovery, it saved his livelihood. When Dr. Desai told me this was going to save my foot, I was all good with it. According to Dr. Desai, this procedure is only available at Houston Methodist Sugarland, but is surging in popularity, which is good since diabetic complications are becoming more common. What this is allowing me to do is allowing me to find new ways to curb an epidemic that's happening. When you have a diabetic foot infection in any of these social stratas or these racial demographics, we're able to attack it much quickly, uh, much more rapidly, and essentially effectively and efficiently. He says the best part of this treatment is that no matter how progressed the infection gets, maggots allow doctors to stop the infection right there instead of typical options, which may have to amputate from higher than the infected point. I know it looks creepy, but Randy and Dr. Desai both insist that the patient cannot feel those crawling insects. As a matter of fact, you see Randy was healed and went back to work in just a few weeks. I'm health reporter Haley Hernandez, KPRC Channel 2 News. The all grows down her <laughs> Sorry about your breakfast, folks. <laughs> I did not watch any of that. Well, Haley did warn them to Yes, look there away. was a fair warning. And you have to admit, you know, the trade-off, I mean, it's wonderful yes. to see sure. the benefits.